हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल ब्यू ट्यूटोरियल्स इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट डिजाइन प्रोसीजर ऑफ फायर ट्यूब बॉयलर इन फायर ट्यूब बॉयलर्स फ्लू गैस फ्लोज इनसाइड द ट्यूब वाइल द स्टीम इज जनरेटेड आउटसाइड द ट्यूब्स डिपेंडिंग ऑन द क्लीनिंगनेस ऑफ द गैस ट्यूब साइज can vary from 1.5 to 3.5 inch outside diameter if slagging is a concern as in municipal solid waste insulation applications the boiler should be of a multi pass design where the first pass is a pipe with a diameter ranging from 30 to 48 inch and subsequent passes consist of smaller diameter tubes packaged oil or gas fired boiler have a similar configuration the specified gas velocities can vary depending on the allowable gas pressure draw packaged fire tube boilers for instance are often specified as requiring 5 feet per boiler hose power one boiler hose power is equivalent to 34500 btu per hour of output both of these factors tube size and gas velocity influence the heat transfer coefficients and hence the surface area The procedure for sizing a fire tube boiler is as follows the required surface area s is calculated from s is equal to q upon uat this is equation 1a if u is based on the tube outer diameter then the surface area is also based on the tube outer diameter likewise if u is based on the tube inner diameter then the surface area should be based on the tube inner diameter this can also be expressed as u0 into s0 is equal to ui into si where s0 is equal to pdo nl divided by 12 and si is equal to pdi into nl divided by 12 thus equation 1a can be rewritten as either si is equal to q upon ui delta t this is equation 1b or s o is equal to q upon u o delta t this is equation 1c the energy transferred q is q is equal to w g into c p into t1 minus t2 into h i so w s into h s this is equation 2 the term h represent the heat loss factor and is equal to 1 minus the losses due to radiation and convection from the boiler surface a 2% loss hi is equal to 0.98 is typical the log mean temperature difference delta t is determined by delta t is equal to ti minus ts minus t2 minus ts divided by log in t1 minus tn t2 minus ts this is equation 3 the overall heat transfer coefficient uo is given by 1 upon u0 is equal to d0 upon di into hi plus 1 upon h0 plus ffi into d0 upon di plus ffo plus d0 upon 24k into log in 
डी ओ अपॉन डी आई दिस इज इक्वेशन फोर द ट्यूब साइड हीट ट्रांसफर कोफिशियंट एच आई इज द सम ऑफ द कन्वेक्टिव हीट ट्रांसफर कोफिशियंट एच एंड द नोमिलियस हीट ट्रांसफर कोफिशियंट एच एन द वैल्यू ऑफ एच एन डिपेंड्स ऑन द पार्शियल प्रेशर ऑफ द ट्राई एटोमिक गैसेज इन द फ्यू गैस फॉर एग्जाम्पल सी ओ टू एच टू ओ एंड इज यूजली स्मॉल ऑन द ऑर्डर ऑफ फाइव परसेंट ऑफ एच सी इन फायर ट्यूब बॉयलर दस मैनी डिजाइनर्स आर कंजर्वेटिव एंड नेगलेक्ट एच एन इन वाटर ट्यूब बॉयलर हाउ एवर एच एन इज वेरी सिग्निफिकेंट एंड कैन नॉट बी नेगलेक्टेड फर्दर डिटेल्स ऑन कैलकुलेटिंग एच एन कैन बी फाउंड इन बिलो टेबल द वैल्यू ऑफ एच आई इज ऑफ टेंड फ्रॉम द डेटस बोल्टर इक्वेशन एन यू इज इक्वल टू जीरो पॉइंट जीरो टू थ्री आर ई की पावर जीरो पॉइंट एट पी आर की पावर जीरो पॉइंट फोर दिस इज इक्वेशन फाइव वेयर एन यू इज इक्वल टू एच सी डी आई डिवाइडेड बाई ट्वेल्व के and re is equal to 15.2 w divided by mu di and pr is equal to mu cp upon k substituting these expressions into equation 5 and simplifying yields h is equal to 2.44 w ki power 0.8 f upon di की पावर 1.8. दिस इज इक्वेशन सिक्स वेयर एफ इज इक्वल टू सी पी अपोन म्यू की पावर 0.4 पॉइंट फोर इंटू के की पावर जीरो पॉइंट सिक्स द इन साइड एंड आउट साइड होल्डिंग फैक्टर आर डिनोटेड बाई एफ एफ आई एंड एफ एफ ओ रेस्पेक्टिवली फॉर क्लीन गैसेज एंड बोलर वाटर they can be assumed to be 0.001 feet square hour fahrenheit per btu for gas streams that can cause fouling ff can be much higher on the order of 0.05 feet square hour fahrenheit per btu tables of fouling factors are available in several published source such as table 2 and 3 this is table 2 crimson's coefficient for calculating hc for bare tube water tube boilers this is table for comparison of bare and the boiling heat transfer coefficient ho is very high on the order of 2000 btu per feet square hour fahrenheit thus even a 20% variation in its value will not impact you because the tube side coefficient hi which is typically on the order of 10 to 20 btu per feet square fahrenheit governs you the last term in equation 4 is the resistance of the tube wall to heat transfer the thermal conductivity of the tube material k is about 20 to 25 btu per feet hour fahrenheit for carbon steel the typical material used for boilers to size the boiler the mass flow per tube ranging from 120 to 200 lb per hour for a 2 inch tube and the gas velocity typically ranging from 60 to 170 feet per second are assumed and the tube count is calculated the relationship between mass flow and velocity is as follows v is equal to 0.05 wv divided by di square this is equation 7 while it may seem easier to assume a number of tubes then to assume a mass flow rate and gas velocity 
in practice because these calculations are done by computer the terms are essentially conveyed in parallel based on the temperature and properties of the gas at c and then u are determined then equation 1 is used to calculate s which is in turn used to determine the tube length l the gas pressure drop is then calculated based on geometry 1 delta pg is equal to 93 into 10 s to power minus 6 into f l e v w square divided by d i is e power 5 this is equation 8 if the computed pressure drop is higher than that allowed by the specification another mass flow rate per tube is assumed and the procedure is repeated consider a fire tube waste heat boiler required to cool 1 lakh lb per hour of flue gas from 1300 fahrenheit to 474 degree fahrenheit the gas is at atmospheric pressure and consists of by volume 12 percent co2 12 percent h2o 70 percent n2 and 6 percent o2 feed water temperature is 220 degree fahrenheit and steam pressure is 150 psi fouling factor of ffi is 0.02 feet square hour fahrenheit per btu for the gas and ffo is 0.01 feet square hour fahrenheit per btu for the steam heat loss of 2% and an outside heat transfer coefficient of h is equal to 2000 BTU per feet square hour fan height and assumed tube size of 1.75 into 1.521 2 into 1.773 and 2.5 into 2.238 outer into inner diameter will be considered what are the effect on surface area requirements of tube size and gas velocity which can range from 90 to 170 feet per second for simplicity most of the calculation details are omitted the result of the calculations for the various tube size and velocities are summarized in table 1 for the same amount of energy transferred one can see significant variations in surface area by as much as 50 percent as the gas velocity increase u increase which bring down the surface area and the gas pressure drop increase also as the tube size increase u decrease for the same velocity this along with the fewer larger tubes result in longer tube lengths the main point to be noted is that for the same duty the surface area can vary depending on the tube size and gas velocity these conclusions also apply to packaged fire tube boilers firing oil or gas a rule of thumb that unfortunately is still being used by specifying engineers is 5 feet square of surface per boiler horsepower one can by using a higher gas velocity or a smaller tube size develop a boiler design that will work fine with up to 10% to 20% less surface area boiler cost generally increase with an increase in surface area however it does not rise proportionally because other items such as boiler trim controls casing insulation and so on
account for a considerable part of the total cost and these may not increase proportionally labor cost are significant and may not be proportional to surface area each case therefore must be reviewed independently so friends if you like this video then like and share also don't forget to subscribe this channel and press bell icon for getting notification of my upcoming videos.